Now for this first question then, we've got to find the equation of the line passing through these points A and B. A with coordinates 7, 4 and B with the points 2, 0. And we've got to give it in the form AX plus BY plus C equals 0. Now they didn't give us a diagram and I would therefore strongly encourage you to always draw a diagram for coordinate uh, geometry questions. So simple sketch, something like this I'm sure would do. Okay, so how do we get the equation of this line? Well, I know that a line has the form y equals mx plus c, but I don't want to use that. Okay, it slows us down. No, the version that I'm going to use is this one. y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1 where m is the gradient of the line and x1 y1 is a point on the line and I can either use the coordinates 7 4 for x1 y1 or the coordinates for b 2 0 as x1 y1 I would really use b because it seems a lot easier but uh, anyway, that's how I would do this. There is another way. I'll show you afterwards, okay? But first of all, I'd get the gradient M. And the, to get the gradient M, the gradient of AB, let's just put that down there, gradient AB equals, we should know that it's the difference in the Y coordinates over the difference in the X coordinates. So I could do 4 minus 0, that's the difference in the y coordinates, divided by difference in the x coordinates. And I've got to keep the same order here, so I started with the 4, so I must start with the 7. 7 minus the 2. And you could experiment if you like. You get exactly the same answer if you did 0 minus 4, as long as you do it divided by 2 minus 7. So it doesn't matter which way you attempt to do that. Okay, so what we've got here is a gradient then of 4 over 5, 4 fifths. And with that, I can now go for the equation of the line. So therefore, the equation of AB is, okay, don't write equals at that point. So often I see people doing that. Equation of AB is, and then we've got y minus y1 and I'm going to use my y1 as naught and my x1 as 2. But I'll leave it up to you. Try the 4 and the 7. Just experiment with it and you'll see that you should end up with the same answer as I get. So it's y minus 0 equals m the gradient 4 fifths bracket x minus x1. So it's x minus 2. Okay, x1 being the 2 then. Now we need to get this in the form AX plus BY plus C equals 0. So what I'm going to do is multiply by 5, so therefore we get 5Y, obviously we can just drop the 0 now, equals, and if I multiply all of this side, remember it's one term by 5, it's just going to leave me with 4 bracket X minus 2, which I could then expand to give me 4X minus 8. So to get it, that into the form AX plus BY plus C equals 0, I've got to take 5Y from both sides. So therefore I get 4X minus 5Y minus 8 equals 0. So you can see it's in that form AX plus BY plus C equals 0, where A, B and C would be integers, whole numbers, right? So that's basically it. Now I did say that there's another version that you could use for getting the equation of the line. It's this one. It's y minus y1 divided by y2 minus y1 equals x minus x1 all over x2 minus x1. And you can use this when you've got a line going through two points. I don't tend to use it though. I always find this is so much easier to work with. But uh, as I say, I'll leave it up to you. So let's see uh, if we use that version. If we use that version, then we've got the equation of AB is, and we can choose Y1 and X1 to be either 
this pair here or this pair, it doesn't matter. Try and experiment again to see what you come up with. But I'm going to use this one as my x1, y1 and this is my x2, y2. Okay, so if we do that then what we've got is that y minus y2, so sorry, y minus y1 I should say, which would be the zero here, y minus zero, all divided by y2 minus y1, so that would be 4 minus the zero, okay, equals x minus x1, so that would be the two here, all divided by x2 minus x1, so that would be 7 minus 2. And if we just leave that as y on the top there, over 4 equals x minus 2 over 5. And if I multiply now by the 4, can you see that this takes us back to this line here? So it would follow from here that I get y equals 4 fifths bracket x minus 2. And then I leave it up to you just to follow through exactly what I did just here. All right. So this is an alternative version that you could select. All right. Alternative.